What is up my Tickle Me crew, this is Chad here, and welcome back guys to another episode of my Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Let's Play. In the last episode, we defeated Steven and became the Hoenn League Champion. In this episode and the next few episodes, we are going to be taking part in the Delta episode. And we'll find out more about what the Delta episode is as we go along with the storyline. Basically, it's kind of like in-game content. And uh, I guess we will uh, do this... Uh, in separate parts. I was originally going to be doing this in one large episode, but uh, I found out that the Delta episode takes like anywhere from like an hour to two hours to complete. And uh, since I don't really get that many views as it is, I don't think that you guys would sit through like a two hour video. So <laughs> um, I'm going to be splitting this up into parts and uh, I guess uploading daily still. So I uh, hope you guys will enjoy this. And let's find out more about this Delta episode business. The XX day of the XX month. Moss Deep Space Center, Celestial Observatory. Uh oh, it sounds like something's wrong. <laughs> Professor Cosmo, it's it's a disaster. The meteor the meteor oh my god. The meteoroid's trajectory, it suddenly changed direction. Now it's on a collision course with our planet. What? Recheck the data. Update the course calculations and confirm the new trajectory. Target locked on. Confirming the meteoroid... God, these words are so fucking hard for me for some reason. The meteoroid's new expected trajectory now. According to the numbers, it should make impact somewhere southwest of, of Sutopolis on a small island off Route 131. But changing traject... <laughs> Fuck it, man. Trajectories mid-flight. It's almost like it's alive. But Professor, what should we do? What do we do? Calm yourself, man. Y yes sir. Hmm. So it's come to this. Looks like I won't be needing this. Hey, yep. Whoa. Who the fuck is that? It was like a Team Aqua grunt there for a second. Phew. That's so much better. Oh, I feel so free. That uniform got pretty stinky after a while, and, and all sweaty too. Oh, my adorable little Aster. Are you happy to see me looking like myself again, hmm? Ah, you're just too darn cute, like always. Phew. But there's not much time for us left. I can't read. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. It'll only be a matter of weeks. No, days. Things have gotten a bit tricky now since that kid managed to stop one of the super ancient Pokemon from being revived like it should have been. Not that it's really a big deal. I've already thought of a new plan. If I just tweak a bit with the keystone... One, okay, too much talking. <laughs> I can't read tonight. <laughs> oh, God. I swear I'll protect you, Aster. Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Delta episode. Alright, what the hell was all that about? <laughs> Alright, we are back in our room, apparently. So, uh, let's check the party. Looks like... Wow, Gertrude and Metagross are level 58, and Bob, wow. The Elite Four gave us some good experience, that's for sure. Oh look, it's Mom and Dad. Hmm. Why, if it isn't Chad, it's been some time since I last saw you. Last saw oh my fucking god. <sighs> I wish I could read, I really do. But you look stronger somehow. That's the impression I get. But your old man hasn't given up yet. Oh, and before I forget, I was thinking of giving these to you. A pair of tickets. 
They're tickets to. Mm, they are tickets to the Star Show that's being held at Moss Deep Space Center. I was really planning to go with your mom, but it looks like I've got to rush back to the gym in Petalburg. Oh, hmm. You know, it's a pair of tickets. Why don't you invite that little cutie May from next door? Oh, man. Dad's trying to be my wingman over here. Alright, Dad's gonna head back to the gym. Oh, that dad of yours. He comes home for the first time in ages, and all he talks about is Pokemon. Why can't he ever just let it go and relax? And tomorrow, the long-awaited Star Show will finally begin. We've got all the latest news and updates. Alright, so something's happening on the uh, TV. At last, oh my god, another word that's going to be difficult. At last, the lit Leonoid meteor shower. Ah, fuck it, man, I give up. Too much talking. I'm fucking exhausted, and this is just not helping. Uh, I had to work today. <laughs> I'm, I use that excuse all the time. Whoa, it's that bitch. Huh? Whoa, are we in sync or what? You know, I was just thinking about you. It's great to meet you. It is our first real meeting, right? Yes, of course, that's right. The name's Zinnia, and you? Well, I know all about you. You're Chad, of course. You're the new Pokemon League champion. And you're one of those special few who use Mega Evolution to get closer to their Pokemon now, aren't you? I'll leave it alone. Look, I'm stopping. But this sure is a nice place, isn't it, Little Root Town? And everybody living here is just so nice, too. Like that neighbor of yours. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to go on like that. We should keep our first meeting short and sweet, don't you think? Until next time, then. Bye bye This bitch is cray. Um, so I guess we have to find May and give her the ticket? Ow, May, are you okay? What should I do? What should I do? Oh, Wibble. It's not like that... It's not that big of a deal, Mom. She knocked me down a bit. What? That girl beat the shit out of May, apparently. Chad, you... You're alright, huh? That's a relief. It all happened so fast, I couldn't do a thing, but... Some strange woman came into my window upstairs. Ooh. And then she took my keystone from me. I tried to fight her off with my team, but she was really strong. I didn't stand a chance. But I think I heard her mutter under her breath as she left, though. Something like Petalberg's next. Chad, be careful. Alright, so I guess since Dad's in Petalberg, um, we need to make sure Dad's safe. So, let's go ahead and fly to Petalberg. On trusty Gertrude. Alright, let's check on Dad. I have no idea what's going on here. Alright, it doesn't seem like anything's wrong. Uh, oh! Wally! Yeah, here we go, there's Matt. You're such a little pain, shut up and give me the keystone. I don't have it, I tell you. Don't play dumb. I already know you can use Mega Evolution. Are you even listening? I've been telling you. Ah, Chad. What the? You punk. Just in time, aren't you? I'm gonna take your keystone first. Alright, let me guess. Matt's gonna have one Pokemon, it's gonna be Sharpedo. Yep. Bro, what is wrong with your team? I see he's leveled it up, but still, come on, dude. Give me some kind of a challenge. <sighs> Pikachu, the weakest member on my team, can take it out in one hit. That's just sad. For a big tough guy, I mean, he looks tough and all, but he's like, he's nothing. <laughs> That strange man suddenly attacked me, demanding that I hand over my keystone. But truth is, I couldn't give it to him even if I wanted to. My keystone is gone. I left it in the house when I went out, and it just disappeared. 
What in the world is going on? If someone like that ever shows up again, I've got to protect my mom and dad. You'd be careful too, Chad. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> the entry call version, blah. App rang on the PokéNap Plus. Hello? Hello? Is this you, Chad? It's me, Steven. Have you been doing well? I imagine you must be quite shocked. This communication mode that Devin is still currently developing. It comes installed on every PokéNap Plus. I thought I would only use it if I needed to contact you urgently. But it looks as though that time has already come. I'm sorry to ask this of you, but I need you to come to the Devon Corporation in Rustboro. There's something I have to ask you, or talk to you about in person. Alright, let's go to Rustboro then. Oops, wrong Pokemon, Gertrude. Alright, Rustboro, it's right here. So there's some freaky shit going on. People jacking keystones and stuff. Wally's just fucking disappeared. Some lady broke into May's house and stole hers. Oops, didn't mean to put that on. Let's hop on the bike. Chad, I'm sorry for summoning you so suddenly. It's well known how often my intuition turns out to be right. But I never imagined we would be meeting again this soon. I'm sorry to say it's not happy news that brings us together. Isn't it something we should discuss in public? Let's go inside. Okay. After you. So polite. So suave. Steven makes Lady Swoon. Dad, Chad is here. Well, welcome, welcome. It's been quite a while, hasn't it? I suppose I'm just getting old. Recently, I seem to be forgetting details just as soon as I learn them. Okay, what does he want? It's too much talking for me to bother with reading. Okay. <sighs> I guess he said it's going to be a long topic, too. Let me take us back 3,000 years ago to the days when the story began. So that kind of reminds me of uh, AZ from X and Y. Because he was a king 3,000 years ago. There was a great war at a time in a region far away from here. So that's the Kalos region. So they're basically tying this game and X and Y together. That war was finally brought to an end by a weapon created by one man. That's the weapon that we saw in X and Y. And what energy source could... <sighs> could power such a dreadful weapon? Do you know? You see, it ran on the life energy of Pokemon. The energy that could be gained by sacrifice of... Okay, too much talking. Don't give a shit. <laughs> Alright, so they developed something called Infinity Energy. And the Devon parts that we recovered at the very beginning of the game was part of the uh, Infinity Energy. And it was also used for that submarine of uh, Captain Stern's, apparently. So now he's talking about this huge asteroid more than six miles in di diameter. That's huge. We have been working together with the Moss Deep Space Center and in order for these plans to succeed we need a meteorite shard. So that's it. You want him to go and get that shard for you. That's my boy. Okay, so we have to get some meteorite shard. Okay, so we have to go to Granite Cave, which is near Duford. Alright, so Granite Cave it is. <laughs> the Link Cable. I remember the Link Cables from way, way back when I was a child. Alright, so. We have to head all the way to Duford. Look at that smirk. Steven is so bay. Alright, Granite Cave. Let's see... How many floors is this building? Okay, there we go. We're on the last floor. Thank God we have a Pokemon with Fly.
All right, Duford is down here. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and use a uh, Max Repel. Cause I don't, I really don't want to be bothered with Pokemon right now. Let's see. It's gotta be somewhere over here. Max Repel, there it is. I just don't even want to be bothered. Alright, so I guess we go down this way. I mean, I figure. This is where we met Steven. Oh, there's that bitch again. Alright, she's checking out the uh, cave paintings. Well, it seems like it's true. It really is just like the wall painting there. This one shows primal reversion, while the other shows mega evolution. I guess that proves it once and for all. Our greatest ancestors once lived here too. The ancestors who passed down through the knowledge how to protect the world. How to, avo how to avert the threat that would appear from space as long was foretold. From a place higher than even the heavens. What is it, Aster? We do seem to meet an awful lot, Chad. Are you also interested in this old painting? Or are you here for the other? For the one of for one of the meteorite shards that can serve as a source of power for the legendary Pokemon that lives in the heavens above. Either way, you know I adore you. Oh, she wants the D. That's it. I can't help it. I have to battle you. I'll play nice though and ask first. You're ready to battle me, right? Yes. That's my boy. Now let's do it. Give me a good taste of everything. Whoa. Whoa. I just met you. And this is crazy. Dude, she looks fucking freaky as fuck, dude. <laughs> Alright, she's gonna start off with uh, Tyrantrum. Which is pretty crazy. This girl needs to, like, take a chill pill. This bitch looks freaky. Alright, we got the flinch, which is awesome. I guess let's uh, try to get another flinch. Nope. And there's the earthquake that's going to take down Twerkichu. Why am I even leading with Twerkichu anyway? That was kind of dumb. Alright, I'm just going to dual chop. Oh wow, that doesn't even do much damage at all. Alright, her next Pokemon is going to be an Altaria. Would have been nice to have that uh, Icicle Spear or whatever. Icicle Crash, rather. All right, let's go ahead and Mega Evolve and just go for Dual Chop again. Super effective. But Altaria is bulky, so there's no way this is going to kill. Or, oh, okay. I got a crit. I was about to say, holy shit. All right, her next Pokemon is going to be a Salamence. Scary shit. She is going to intimidate us, which sucks. But let's just go for dual chop. That does nothing. Does a little over half. This dragon claw is going to kill. And she gets a crit. Awesome. Alright. Let's just go into Metagross. our strongest Pokemon. Alright, let's go for a nice and powerful Meteor Mash. Please kill. Thank you. HM Slut grew to level 53. 
Now she looks normal. She looked crazy before. She looked like a fucking monkey with that stance. Nice, real nice, Chad. Oh, it really felt like that like that one. Full points to you. That settles it. You get this meteorite shard as a reward. Alright, now where do we go? That glittering meteorite that you've got there. Hmm. It's sure off it's sure giving some weird vibes. I keep it to okay, too much talking, don't give a shit. The actions you're taking now, are they based on the ideals you cling to, or are they based on actual truths? And if they are, how much of the truth do you think you know? Mum? Her wishmer talks? Yes ma'am, moving out. Such a spoiled little girl you are, Aster. So what'll be our next stop, hmm, hmm sweetie? <laughs> okay, that girl's fucking weird. <laughs> Alright, looks like Steven's calling again. Chad. Were you able to find the meteor I shard that we need? Yes. If you're able to source it, can you hurry back to Moss Deep Space Center? Alright, so we have to go to Moss Deep. Alright, so let's get out of this cave so we can fly. I'm not sure where I'm gonna, like, end each episode. Actually, let's go ahead and heal first. I mean, I guess I could, like, stop the episode here, but I kind of don't want to, like... It feels like it hasn't been that long since I started recording, to be honest. I wonder if Bandicam will tell me. <laughs> no, it's not gonna tell me. Oh well. Alright, Moss Deep City it is. I'll probably uh, end the episode in another mission or whatever. Depending on like what we have to do. Oops. Alright, we are headed to the Space Center, which is over this way, yeah. Alright, I'm sure they're on, like, the top floor or whatever. Or wait, this is the top floor, isn't it? Oh wait, no it's not. Steven is expecting- okay, yeah, so we have to go up top. Professor Cosmo, if I may interrupt you. Ah, Chad, thank you for coming. And you brought the meteorite shard with you. Well done. I was rather surprised to learn that you knew the professor. You really do seem to make connections everywhere you go. Alright, so the professor is going to explain the plan. I imagine that you've heard some situ- okay. Uh, something about infinity energy with the rockets. We'll start off by artificially replicating the massive energy that is triggered at the time of mega evolution. We will fire the energy produced from our rocket into space and create a warp hole. By creating a warp hole in the path of the incoming meteoroid, we hope to be able to transport it somewhere far away from here. As a matter of fact, this technology already exists and has been incorporated in some of our commonly used devices. I think you know what I mean. Those panels that spin you about and then out you come. Warp to another spot. I imagine you've stepped on a few such. So basically those little panels that were like in the Team Aqua base where they like teleport you to another room an audacious plan and using such technology you would may I ask what where exactly the asteroid will be warped to well we're not entirely sure but we do have a device that links wearables named to the link cable so there's no need to worry 
Based on our theory, we can at least guarantee that we will be able to send it away from our planet. However, we've realized that we would need more energy than Rizuk. Oh my god. Seriously? There's too much talking for real. Oh god, it's this bitch again. Excuse me, young lady, you can't just let yourself in here. Oh, where's what's the harm in it? Don't be such a stick in the mud. Who are you? You're no sightseer. Oh me, we do seem to keep running into one e one another. You're a busy boy, Chad. Who, who are you? What are you doing here? Me, I'm Zinnia. Just your regular old tourist, nothing more. Dreaming of taking a little trip into space, huh? Oh, I see. So this is what has come of human technology. And of hope, and blood, sweat, and tears, and... Well, the list kind of goes long and boring. But it contains everything. Okay, too much talking. Don't give a fuck. You guys can read it in your own time. Um, do I have a better idea? I didn't even read that, so I'm just going to say, sure. <laughs> Too much talking, don't really care. <sighs> don't really care, don't really care. Who was that woman? And the way she spoke to us, it's almost as if she came here for some kind of confirmation. And yet, I feel as though I should know her from somewhere. Ah, Professor, forgive me. I believe you were trying to tell us something before that woman interrupted us. In order to complete the warm, <laughs> the warp hole, we would need another meteorite shard from an extreme, oh, an extremely pure one. And should we head to Granite Cave once again? No, the kind of meteorite shard we need this time can only be found at Meteor Falls. <sighs> Jesus Christ. It's a lot of fucking running around. Alright, so let's find this one at Meteor Falls. And that'll probably be it, I guess. Unless it takes forever to find the one at Meteor Falls. Alright, where's Meteor Falls? Mountain Chimney, Fiery Path. Uh, there it is. Okay. Now, question is, where do we go? And I, mm, I hope I don't need waterfall. There's an item over here. It's a moonstone. I hate to say it, but I'm, I'm probably gonna need dive. Let me go get my uh, tentacruel. This is really annoying. A lot of running back and forth. But at least I have my bike. Oh, not that way. Alright. We are almost in town. I guess, you know what? Fuck it. I'm, fl I'm gonna just fly. It's so much quicker to do, the to do it like this. I should have just done that originally. Okay, we're back to the Pokemon Center. Oh, I can't wait to be done with this, this quest line. Organize boxes. We're going to get rid of Twerkachu for Tentacruel. And we're going to move Metagross up front. All right, now let's fly back. Look 
because I have a feeling we're going to need waterfall, possibly even dive, I don't know. Okay. So I'm going to go up here. I really like the water in this place. Look how clear it is. It looks awesome. That looks fucking awesome. Okay, so I guess we go this way. We're gonna use all of our repels. <laughs> that looks so cool. Okay, I don't wanna battle this guy. I really want to avoid as many trainers as possible. But I may not have a choice sometimes. go down here I guess I have no idea where I'm going guys <laughs> caves are not my thing to be honest I like the ripple effect that they have I believe this is the room where you can actually catch Bagon and we got the TM for Dragon Claw. So if you want a Bagon for uh, Salamence, go to this room. But I have no reason to catch a Bagon. That would just slow me down at the moment. But that is a nice TM to go ahead and pick up while we are here. Did I just hear a Clefairy? I think that was Clefairy. There's an item there. PP Max. We've got like three of those. So that's pretty cool. Alright, looks like I went the wrong way somewhere. Oh, I hate this. I'm doing this like completely blind without any help at all. So I have no fucking idea where I'm going. I guess we have to go where that guy is, but I don't know how to get over there. Hmm. I just don't want to battle that trainer right there. But I might have to, unfortunately. I'm so lost, dude. Oh, okay. Alright, I think we're getting somewhere. Okay, never mind. Hmm. Might as well see if there's an item here. Nope, nothing. Okay. Um. I guess we're going to have to battle this guy. He's a dragon tamer. He's got one Pokemon. It's Altaria. Let's just go for a uh, Meteor Mash, I guess. The background's pretty cool, at least. Pretty cool looking. Alright, let's continue. Right, there's another ladder here. Looks like a double battle. I think we're going the right way, I guess. I hope. 
Old Couple, John and Jay. Medicham and Hariyama. Alright, Hariyama is definitely the bigger threat. So, I'm just going to go... I'm going to double attack the Hariyama. <sighs> of course it uses Endure. So no matter what, it's going to live with 1 HP. Power trick. What does that do? It switched its attack and defense. Okay. It's kind of a lame move on a Medicham, really. Alright, let's just get rid of this Medicham. Alright, Metagross is level 60. Awesome sauce. Wants to learn Hyper Beam. Holy, holy crap. Uh, let's not learn Hyper Beam, though. It's a very powerful move, but I don't need the, uh, the one turn of rest or whatever. Bob grew to level 59. And I miss my attack. That's fabulous. Alright, that's a dead Hariyama. <coughs> Alrighty, let's continue. Ah, there they are. Chad, we have the meteorite shard. And I have come to understand many things, as I, as I suspected might happen. Allow me to introduce you. The honorable lady you see before you is a descendant of the ancient Dra Draconoids. Yes, I am one of the Draconoid people. One of those ancient folk tasked with passing down the knowledge of Mega Evolution with, gr with the great lore of Lord Rayquaza. Lord Rayquaza. Who is the beginning of all. I thought Arceus was the beginning. Arceus is like the god of Pokemon. At times, destruction took the form of a huge meteorite which fell upon our land from distant space. At other times, primal reversions of our own super ancient Pokemon brought us to, to the brink of destruction. Each time, Lord Rayquaza has saved us from doom. The chosen Lord Keeper standing before a stone. That stone. That stone. Ugh, I can't read. I just said that stone. With rainbow light offered up a wish to the Great One and Lord Rayquaza's body. <sighs> Again, too much reading. Fuck it. So are we going to be like this lore keeper that she's talking about or what? Oh, okay, it's Zinnia then. So, uh, so Zinnia is the lore keeper, I guess. Alright, I suspected the woman who appeared at the Space Center was one of the Draconoids, but I had never dreamed she was involved with the attempted revival of, su of the super ancient Pokemon. In full knowledge of the power they, ho they held, fully understandable the terrible changes they would wreak upon our world. Still, she helped us bring that situation about. Did, okay, too much talking, man. If you guys want to read this, I mean, you can. I just... I'm not feeling it. Too much damn talking. I just want to continue with my game, beat the game, and get back to Wi-Fi battling. That's all I care about right now. Oh, Lord. We have to go all the way back to Rustboro. Thank God I bought escape ropes. Wherever they are. There we go.
Alright, so now we have to fly all the way back to Respiro. Actually, you know what, guys? I'm going to end the episode right here. And in the next episode, we will fly back to Respiro and, I guess, continue on. Uh, I don't know how many episodes this is going to take for us to beat the game, but uh, we'll go until it's done. And you guys will have daily uploads. So, if you guys enjoy this series, leave a like. It helps out the channel a lot. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Toodles.